this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a party mask. It's a good introduction to learning how to make the topology necessary to model a human face. If I go into edit mode, we see there are face loops around the eyes, a C-shaped face loop around the nose, and a face loop around the edge of the mask. And once those elements are in place, the rest of the topology follows. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down and tick background images. Click the black triangle to open up the panel. Click add image. Scroll down, click open. Go to the folder where you have your mask photo. Select the file and open image. You only see background images in one of the standard orthogonal views. So I'm going to change perspective to orthogonal and the view to the front view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, go into edit mode. I'm going to delete all the vertices of the cube. Now we still have an object called cube, but at the moment it has no vertices. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. To add vertices, hold down the control key and left click with the mouse, starting just to the right of center Add vertices to draw an outline around the mask. I tend to put vertices closer together where there's a lot of curvature and further apart at straight bits. Make your way back towards the center but don't cross the center press A on the keyboard to deselect the last vertex next I'm going to trace out the eye hold down control and left click and work your way around the eye don't worry if a vertex isn't perfect you can always move it afterwards It's easy to move, add, delete vertices. Don't close the shape. The final vertex is slightly out of position, so I'm pressing G to grab to move it. Hold down Shift and select the first vertex. Press F to make edge. We now have a complete edge loop and holding down Alt and selecting any vertex will select the entire loop. Press E on the keyboard to extrude, immediately followed by Enter. Press S to scale and extrude outwards to make a face loop. Press E again, immediately followed by Enter and S to scale and drag out a second face loop. Next I'm going to work on the nose. Because of the symmetry of the model I'm going to add the mirror modifier. Now in solid shading we only see faces mirrored but if I go into wireframe we see edges. Now I'm going to add a vertex so we can put more detail into the area. Select, shift select and subdivide. I'm going to move the first vertex along, G to grab, and the third, G to grab, just to space them out. Now, this is the topology I want for the nose. There are two C-shaped face loops, and I'm going to start by creating this line that connects the edge of the mask to the edge of the eye. Select the fourth vertex, control and left click to add a vertex. Select the vertex at the corner of the eye, shift select F to make edge. Select the second vertex, control and left click to add, control and left click to add. Select the middle vertex, control and left click to add, control and left click to add. Next I'm going to connect the lines up, select, shift select F, 
select shift select F select shift select F select shift select F select shift select F I'm going to do all the cross lines in one go at the end next I'm going to work on the edge of the mask and to separate it from the nose I'm going to delete this edge while things are relatively clean I'm going to make a vertex group for the nose and the eye I'm going to press B for B select and select the nose and part of the eye and another B select and I should have both to add a vertex group, click the Object Data button, click the plus to create a new vertex group, give the group a meaningful name, something like I Nose. And the most important thing is to click the Assign button with the vertices selected, and you know it's worked if you can reselect the group. Hold down the Alt key and click a vertex on the edge of the mask. Press E to extrude, followed by Enter and S to scale and shrink that in. Now I want to drag this end vertex and I want the following vertices to follow it and that means using proportional editing. But I don't want to move any of the vertices on the edge of the mask so I'm going to hold down Alt and select the vertices and press H to hide them and I'm going to press the select button and select the eye and nose vertices and press H to hide those. Enable proportional editing. Select the first vertex, press G to grab and move it to where you want it. And then use the mouse wheel to adjust the area of proportional editing. Select the last vertex, G to grab, move it to where you want it. And then use the mouse wheel to adjust the area of proportional editing. We have to disable proportional editing before we can extrude again. I'm going to fine tune the position of a couple of vertices, G to grab. Hold down the Alt key and select the inner loop. Press E to extrude immediately followed by Enter. Press S to scale and shrink that in. Hold down the Alt key and select the middle edge and press H on the keyboard to hide it. Enable proportional editing, select the first vertex, G to grab, move it to where you want it and adjust the area of proportional editing. Select the last vertex, G to grab, move it to where you want it and adjust the area of proportional editing. Disable proportional editing and fine tune the position of any vertex that needs it. I'm going to connect the eye to the edge of the mask but before I do that I have to unhide the vertices. Hold down the Alt key and press H. Select a vertex, Shift select F to make edge. Do that at the beginning, in the middle and at the end. Now there's a lot more vertices around the edge than there are around the eye, so I'm selecting, shift selecting every other vertex around the edge. We'll deal with the vertex in the middle later. Underneath they pair up a little better. These odd vertices cause a problem. The face below is not a quad, it's got five sides. The solution is easy enough. If I subdivide these three edges and create edges all the way down, all the faces will be quads. But there's a nice new knife tool that will do the job for me more quickly, more easily. The knife tool will cut through edges, but it cuts through faces even better. So I'm going to change the shading from wireframe to solid. I'm going to press A twice to select all, and I'm going to press F to make face. Now I'm going to click the knife button. Notice the shortcut key is K. I'm going to click on the first vertex, 
hover over the final edge. Now if I hold down the control key, it centers the vertices. If I click, it'll set them and press enter, will make them permanent. This time I'll press K on the keyboard to get the knife tool. Click on the first vertex, hover over the final edge, hold down control, click and enter. K, click, hover, hold down control, click to set, enter to make permanent. K, click, hover, control, click, enter. 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 Next to finish off where the edge of the mask meets the nose, select, shift select F, select, shift select F to make edge, A twice to select all, F to make face, K for the knife tool, click on the first vertex, hover, control, click, hover, control, click, enter to make permanent, K for the knife tool, click on the first vertex, hover, control, click, and enter. To fill the bit in the middle, I'm going to have to apply the mirror modifier. Go into object mode, click the modifiers button, and click apply. Back into edit mode, hold down the alt key, and select an inside edge. Hold down shift and alt, and select the other inside edge. Then in the mesh menu, edges, and a new feature in Blender, bridge to edge loops and that fills the gap. I'm going to click the knife tool and hold down control and click. Hover over the final edge, hold down control and click and press enter and that's the topology finished. I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. In part two of the tutorial I'll show you how to UV map the model to the photograph and I'll finish off shaping the mask.